What is up Vlogmas family? Today is Vlogmas day six. I'm with my brother. So I've realized that everybody else is doing Vlogmas is doing it. I guess they'd be on day five today. And I was thinking about changing mine, but and then I realized, you know what? I'm just gonna do whatever I'm gonna do. Today is December 6th when this video comes out and it's gonna be Vlogmas day six. So that's just what I'm gonna do. So me and brother are on our way to the gym. Um, I decided that I wanted to bring this little camera. If you haven't seen this yet, it's this little tiny cube camera. It's like high quality HD video files, but it has this thing right here, which is a magnet, which is pretty sweet because it, it just sticks onto stuff and it has like really high quality, like 1080p video. It's really fun to use. I mean, it's not like the best video, like obviously compared to this or like my DSLR, it's not as good, but it's easy to use because we're going to 24 hour fitness. So it's like uh, the gym that they don't really like that you're filming in. Um, so I'm gonna use this guy. And then I have a really cool recipe that I wanna show you guys. Me and John probably won't be working out together because he's doing uh, back, I'm doing chest, but brother workouts are always good workouts. So I'll see you guys at the gym. So I just got back home and I wanted to show you guys how to make a really good like holiday oatmeal. So it only ha it only takes a couple ingredients, but it's really, really good. So what you're gonna need for this oatmeal is obviously oats. You're gonna need cranberry sauce, which is really good. And then you're gonna need, I use this stuff, it's called buff pig. It's a, a pumpkin spice peanut butter basically, like a protein peanut butter, but you can really use any peanut butter you want. I just like the pumpkin peanut butter because it makes it taste a little bit more holiday-y. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need some sort of sweetener. It's up to you. I'm gonna be using the My Protein Vanilla Flavor Drops, but it's up to you if you wanna use Splenda, Truvia. It's totally up to you. This is super simple to make and I, it's really, really good. So you're gonna start off with 80 grams of oatmeal or however many grams you're gonna be using. I'm using two servings, which ends up being 80 grams. Now this is extremely important. When I make my oatmeal, I only use, I always only use water. I don't have a specific measurement. What I do, this is really important to make the perfect consistency oatmeal, is I pour water in until it barely covers the oatmeal and that's the best way to make the oatmeal it is it, it tastes really good the consistency is really good it's not too watery and it's not too thick so the best way to do it is just pour it to where the water is barely covering the oats and you, and then you'll be good so the best way to make oatmeal is throw it in the microwave for one minute after you put the water in take it out stir it and then you're gonna throw it back in the microwave for another minute that's gonna give you the perfect consistency oatmeal and that's gonna be the main base of this of this food. The next step, obviously, is to take it out of the microwave. And then, this is when you're basically just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in there and make it taste really good. So I did, I decided to do a half serving of the pumpkin spice peanut butter. Uh, again, like I said, you could use any sort of peanut butter that you want. And, and then I did a half serving of the cranberry sauce, because cranberry sauce, it's really good, but it actually is pretty high in calories, so you have to be kind of careful. So I just did a half serving of that, which ends up being, I believe, 55 grams. And then for a half serving of the pumpkin spice peanut butter, it ends up being about 16 grams. So 16 grams, of uh, pumpkin spice peanut butter goes into the oatmeal. And then 55 grams of the whole cranberry sauce goes into the oatmeal. You're gonna stir that up, and then, after you're all done with that, you're gonna add whatever sweetener it is that you wanna add. So, like I said, I use the vanilla Flav drops. They're really, really good. Zero calories, that's why I like to use them, but if you don't have those, you know, Splenda. If you have brown sugar and you wanna use brown sugar, that's fine. Any sort of sweetener that you wanna put in there, is totally fine. And there you have it. You got some beautiful oatmeal. It tastes really good. You Seriously, you should try this out. So good. So I decided to track what I made. Again, you could totally change up this recipe. You could put 
more oats, less oats, you know, you can change everything you want. But, so for what I ended up, I ended up with 460 calories, so it's 73 carbs, 12 fat, and 16 protein. Like I said, you can totally change this whole recipe up, fit it to according to your goals if you want to have less carbs. It's totally up to you, but you should really try this out. If you love oatmeal and you love holiday food, it's really, really good. It's just a really fun recipe. Obviously, it's super easy. It's oatmeal, so there's the video, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas episode. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Look up my fam! Urgh.